Hello, Gamer Nom is back. So for today's video, we are going to help this noob unlock the electric claw and defeat Cake Queen one-on-one -on -one and reach max level. But before we start, you can show your support by using star code Gamer Nom when purchasing your Robux. With the Ector Slam. Oh, there it is. Forward. That's your slam. That's the dunk. Okay, so before we start, I'm going to show you how to get the electric claw. First up, you need to be in the third C. Next, head to the floating turtle and look for this NPC. Just follow this route. There you go. From the entrance, turn to your right. Another right until you find this NPC. Now, I'm going to show you the requirements. So if he answers na, make sure to check your mastery. So far, I have 399 mastery. And for those who don't know, you need 400 mastery for you to unlock the electric claw. So don't worry, it's very easy to grind masteries here. Now let's talk to the previous hero. There you go. Next up, you need to reach the mansion in 30 seconds. So at first, I tried to do it, and this is what happened. Don't worry, I will give you some tips on how to finish this fast. First, you can ask a door fruit user or you can eat a door fruit and then use its C skill to go to the mansion automatically. But for this video, I decided to use the light fruit because this can also help us in grinding later. With the mastery, you only need 10 mastery to unlock the light flight. After that, head to the previous hero and finish the quest easily. Okay. There you go. So after that, you will be asked to go back to the previous hero and you need 3 million bellies and 5,000 shards. What? You know, you're gonna ask this, Gamernom, how did you get the shards? My friends help me finish 5 raids in order to get 5,000 shards. Oh my god! Wow! I know some of you will tell or comment it in the comment section. Sana all madaming kaibigan. Uy, uy, sana all. <laughs> well, anyway, after finishing the quest, grinding 5,000 shards and 3 million bellies, you can now unlock the electric claw. And since we already have the light fruit, we are going to use this to help us in grinding. But guys, we are not going to use any skills of the light fruit except for the flight, okay? So first up, the pirate millionaires. We are powerful enough to defeat this mobs, but it will be harder for us. And since we got the light fruit, I suggest that we go back to the second sea, go back to the forgotten island and start grinding the sea soldiers. And because of the light fruit, Logia effect elemental, this mobs cannot hit us. Which means, aside from the fast grinding of mastery, you can also level up and finish the quests easily. Wow. Now guys, at 110 mastery, we will unlock the electric rampage. Here it is. Guys, this is multi-target which will make our grinding really faster. We are going to grind here until we reach level 1556. Guys, I'm gonna show you the stats. Max mill in defense. Now back to the third C. Guys, remember the pirate millionaires? Now we can fight them easily because of our elemental effect. We are now invulnerable to their attacks. Nice. By this time, we've already unlocked our X skill, the Lightning Thrust. Okay, so this is also multi-target, but you need to use it properly. So how do you use it? Guys, always look for a wall. Yes, guys, a wall that will serve as a net. Catch those enemies damaged by your Lightning Thrust. You won't need to lure your enemies again, so you can use your Z skill and use your left clicks to finish them. Continue grinding here until you unlock your final skill. Yes, the C skill. At 330 mastery, we got the Thunderclap and Flash. And yes, it can damage multiple enemies, which will be good for grinding. Anyway guys, I know that you've noticed, Gamernom, your level is for Hydra Island. I know guys that we can grind both the crew warriors and the crew archers, but they're so far away. Check this out guys, it took me 12 seconds just to go in the location of the dragon crew archers. So I decided to go back with the pirate millionaires until I reach level 1690. Next, I decide to grind with the pistol billionaires. But Gamer, no. Is the experience too low? No, guys. Check it out. I need 53 million. 
to level up and the official billionaires will give you 55 million every quest so no worries and also the location it is a lot near compared to the dragon crew archers and warriors okay okay well there you go we're gonna grind here until we reach level 1722 now we can grind in the hydra island the only mob that we're gonna defeat is the female islanders so guys i'm gonna show you how to grind four lure two here lure them here there you go so get the other two female islanders and you can defeat four at the same time okay okay i'll so do this twice to finish a quest again this is the only mob that we're gonna grind we're gonna leave this area at 1789 next up the green tree guys we're only gonna grind the marine rear admirals here so guys i suggest just use left clicks to defeat four that's one go here only left clicks guys two three and four this will prevent them from using their skill because that skill can damage logia type users so at level 1843 next up the floating turtle so here we're gonna defeat the fishman raiders guys same strategy defeat one mob at a time why gamer no because if you if you try to defeat four at a time check this out they also have a skill that can go through your elemental or logia fruit okay Okay. After this, next up, we're gonna grind the Fishman Captains. These mobs cannot damage you even with their skills, so another easy grind for us. We're gonna leave the Fishman Captains when we reach level 1174. And next up, the Jungle Pirates. Guys, these mobs cannot also damage us, which means easy and fast grind. We're gonna do this until you reach level 2001. Next up, the Musketeer Pirate. It will happen with the jungle pirate. So again, log is in effect. Again, these mobs cannot damage you. So enjoy grinding. You're gonna leave this area when you reach level 2055. Next is the haunted castle. We're almost there, guys. We're only gonna defeat the reborn skeletons here. Yes, only the reborn skeletons. Because they're the only ones that's easy to defeat. There you go. You can collect bones here for a chance to win. Two times experience so it really depends to you you're gonna leave this area at 2161 next up the sea of treats last two mobs first up is the peanut scouts this is the best area to reach max level if you're a logia type user guys you're just gonna lure four i'm gonna show it to you how do you lure them there you go that's three and four and defeat them guys they spawn really fast they're easy to defeat they're near the quest giver all the elements that i consider when grinding is here okay at 2213, you can go here with the ice cream chefs. But if you want, you can, you can just stay there with the peanut scouts. But since these mobs cannot damage you since you're elemental, we have the light fruit. We're gonna grind here until we reach level 2298. For the bonus round, we're gonna defeat the K Queen one on one. Solo, we're only gonna use the electric claw with no light fruit. So, what's the technique here, Gamer Gnome? Let's just use your skills. That's to the side. That's to the side. Uh, activate your observation hockey guys let's be honest if you've reached this level you're kind of pro in dodging attacks from bosses etc so let me just explain to you why i chose this kind of mobs because guys sometimes you just consider the experience that we get i decided to choose these mobs because they're near the quest giver which will save us lots of seconds when getting quests also guys if you notice, we didn't defeat lots of bosses because, not like the other fruits, using the electric claw will take time to defeat a boss. For example, if you want me to do like a server hop with stone or kilo admiral guys, that will be really hard since the quest giver is far from the boss, right? Okay, so that's why I decided to just focus on the mobs that's near the quest giver. I hope that you understand that. This boss is almost dead. So guys, I'll just let you enjoy this fast-paced fight between me and Big Mom. I guess we're almost done with this boss. Guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video and you learned something. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. This is Gamer Nom. And Gamer Nom out!